Hello, you're listening to Yellow King Film Boy. Brad Pitt spoke this week about a longer Netflix version of Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood getting released somewhere down the line, and it seems he is not the only one from the film who hopes that this is the case. Damon Herriman, who played the part of Charles Manson in the movie, was only briefly on screen, and yet the infamous cult leader apparently had a bit more happening in the film, which has been revealed by the actor in an interview today. And he reckons that the Manson parts that were cut from the film was some of Tarantino's finest writing. In an interview with Collider, the Charles Manson actor, who also played the cult leader in the recently released Mindhunter season 2, said, Given it was a 4 hour and 20 minute first cut, there was obviously a lot that was shot that was not in it. Everybody lost a bit of stuff here and there, including some Manson stuff. Maybe it will see the light of day. I can't give away what it was, but it was Quinton's writing at its best. So I guess if you weren't that interested in a longer form version of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, then this may sway your mind. Anyway, he goes on to say, There was a scene that I felt was one of the best scenes I've ever read in my life, just on the page. I hope that scene does get released. I genuinely don't know if it ever will. He has shown an interest in going back to his older movies and making a longer version. Given this one was so long to start with, I think it would be a great candidate for that. Of course, Tarantino recently released The Hateful Eight as a longer form miniseries on Netflix with additional scenes. So I guess it's only a matter of time before this gets the same treatment. In the interview, Herriman did state that there wasn't that much extra of Manson apart from a couple of scenes, but them scenes are something special. It will be curious to see if it lives up to his description of as Tarantino at his best and wonder why it was cut from the movie in the first place. Maybe it just didn't fit in with the whole vibe of the movie. Who knows? Thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.